Health authorities worldwide face a new challenge in their fight against COVID-19 as the Delta variant first identified in India is rapidly spreading across borders. Some countries are strengthening preventive measures, including a mandatory quarantine on visitors. Our Kim Song-min reports. Concerns are mounting among health authorities as Delta, the highly contagious COVID-19 variant, is becoming the dominant strain of the disease across the world. The whole situation is so dynamic because of the uh, variants uh, that are now circulating. And as you said, the Delta variant uh, is well on its way to becoming the dominant uh, variant globally because of its uh, significantly increased uh, transmissibility. The World Health Organization's chief scientist, Dr. Somnia Somnathan, said on Friday that Delta is around 60 percent more transmissible than the UK variant or Alpha. The UK variant is also known to be more contagious than the original COVID-19 strain. The Delta has now spread to more than 80 countries and continuously mutates as it spreads across borders. The U.S. CDC said on Wednesday that the variant makes up 10 percent of new cases in the U.S., a sharp increase from the previous week's 6 percent. However, answering the question as to whether the Delta could send the U.S. back into lockdown, U.S. President Joe Biden said it is highly unlikely, highlighting the importance of getting vaccinated. It's a variant that is more easily transmissible, potentially deadlier, and particularly dangerous for young people. But the good news is we have the solution. The best way to protect yourself against these variants are to get fully vaccinated. So please, please, if you have one shot, get the second shot. And to prevent the spread of the Delta variant, Italy is imposing a mandatory five-day quarantine for all visitors from the UK from June 21st. This comes as the Delta variant now accounts for more than 90 percent of the UK's new COVID-19 cases. With the daily cases hovering around 7,000, the UK has also delayed its easing of lockdown restrictions in England for four weeks until July 19th. Kim Sung-min, Arirang News.